Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Now Lineage OS 16, this is a ROM on which I believe I've already made an install and preview but we are doing it again. Reason being it's been a while that I did it earlier, at, it, at that time it was not really that stable but right now the Pi version looks like it is rock solid and a few days back I did throw up a poll on uh, the community and you guys had a 85% result across 300 votes that you all want to see Lineage OS full review. So this is where it all begins with the install and preview video and then we will do a full review. So in today's video we will be installing and having a first look at Lineage OS 16 for the Pocophone F1 but before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390 go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright guys, so finally the time has come across all the videos that I've been making about custom ROMs for this device that is the Pocophone F1. There's one universal feedback that has been coming, waiting for Lineage OS review. When will you flash Lineage OS? What about Lineage OS and what not? Now I know why you get that question a lot is because it has the least amount of customization, least amount of mods. That means this is basically a ready platform for you to just flash this ROM and flash the mods of your choice. Now of course to do that you need to have an unlocked bootloader, you need to have TWRP installed, you need to have Lineage OS and OpenGX copied into your file's internal memory. Of course you need to be on the latest firmware version so do flash a beta ROM firmware if you are on a stable ROM or something like that. So once we have all of that taken care of, usual set of disclaimers, make sure the battery is above 50% and make sure that all your data is backed up. Although we will not be wiping internal storage, but if something goes wrong, we might have to. So let's begin then. First things first, let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data. Won't be wiping internal storage here. Go to install, select Lineage OS and select OpenG apps, swipe to confirm flash. Now this is a relatively simple flashing process. After this, if you want root, you can flash Majisk. I would highly recommend you flash DFE. For me, it's okay because as of now, I don't have any of my data on the POCO. So even if I have to do a format data, it's completely fine. And this flash here will not take more than two to three minutes. So let's wait for the flash to complete. All right, so just like that, uh, the flash is complete. Wipe cache in Dalvik. Reboot system. Now again, I'm flashing Lineage OS maybe after two or three months. So I really, really hope they have gone ahead and updated the boot animation because for the last 300 years, they've had the same boot animation and no, they have not. All right, so just like that, we are on the home screen and I would like to share something that happened between these things is that uh, the device got encrypted. So yes, uh, I'll link up the DFE file and I would highly recommend that whatever ROM installation video I make on this particular channel, if you're following it as a guide, always, always, always flash DFE. So I had to do a format data and after which the phone did reboot. So nonetheless, uh, we are in Lineage OS and at least it has a fresh wallpaper, if not a new boot animation. And uh, if we see over here, we do have around uh, 20 apps over here nothing major same camera application like all the other custom roms nothing fancy at all and uh, what i like about lineage os is the smoothness the snappiness and the greenish white look is what we have so you don't really get a lot of fancy customization over here if you go to system you do have languages and import which is basically a keyboard and stuff you do have status bar customization some basic things over here and then you have gestures that you can go ahead and customize. And then you have the built-in updater and things like those. So that is what you get with Lineage OS 16, which is based on Android 9 Pi. If we go to about phone over here, the security patch is Android, Android 9, 5th of May, and vendor security is 5th of June. So that is something new that I've seen. But this is an official, official Lineage OS 16. I don't really think there should be a problem because the Wi-Fi is working, Bluetooth is working, all the features are working just fine, including voice over LTE. But let's quickly go ahead and have a look if it works. 
So although it did switch to 3G, but I'm pretty sure voice over LTE would be working because it is working across all the custom ROMs for the Pocophone F1 in Lineage OS 16. Why would you install this ROM? Well, because this is a base in which you can go ahead and do a lot of customization and you can add all the mods that you want. Basically, this ROM is not bloated with, so I would not call it bloat, but you know, it's not full of features and a lot of mods and edits and stuff like that this is a very very clean version of android that you can get and this almost gets an update every alternate day or every single day because this is a nightly build and you can try some stable builds as well so let me know in the comment section if you liked this particular video or not and give this video a thumbs up because yes we are aiming at a goal of 500 likes for this particular video let's see if we can do that because i'm pretty sure you guys like the content on here if so please support, please hit the like button and let me know your feedback in the comments section. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.